but <laughs> with this <laughs> I need to show you the swimming pool and the team of this unit first. All right, let's go there before we forget. Otherwise, that would be embarrassing. How much? 5,000 baht. 5,000 baht? That's only $140 a month. How much a month? 10K. 10K, which is still under $300. How amazing is that? Check this out. Let's go. We're off to this morning to see three condos, as mentioned. But here we are with... Who are you? Miss Miss Bang, one of our top agents from, or is she the top agent? I've got to be careful, she's here with us today, so I better call her the top agent. Miss Bang is going to take us on a tour of the three condos we've just mentioned. Where are we going, Miss Bang? Where are we going first? First, we're going to go to PP Condo. Okay, we're going to go to head to PP Condo, where we, you know, this is the best value condo I believe we have. Perfect Homes doesn't list many. This condo is $140 a month, okay? We don't list many at this price range because most buildings at this price range, you don't get much, the rooms are old and dirty, but a PP, we reckon it's really good value. So we're gonna show you that one first. It's very popular, not the newest of buildings, but a very popular choice. After that, where are we going, Miss Bang? We will go to one plastic yard branch. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This unit I haven't even seen. So how big is this unit at one plus Chad Yard? Can you around, remember? Around 30 plus, like 35, 37. Okay, and how many square meters? Oh, sorry, oh. how much to rent? Sorry, my fault. Yeah, it's, it's 10K. 10K, so that's just under $300 a month, okay? That includes common area, but does not include your utilities. The same with all our condos. Okay, and finally, where are we gonna go today? D condo. D condo, which one? D condo Nim or D condo sign? D condo Nim. Okay, well, why are we going there? What's there? What do we got there? Because it's like the best facility and the price is just so good, like 10K too. Okay, so for 300, um, for under $300 a month, this building has amazing facilities from pool to common area. Um, and also location, just next to Central Festival. Why do you like shopping, Miss Bang? <laughs> it's just convenient. <laughs> convenient for shopping. And I think today, as Miss Bang's gonna be my superstar tour guide, I'm gonna have to buy her lunch or buy her coffee. Which one do you want? Lunch. Uh, coffee. <laughs> lunch and coffee. Co well, in between, we'll probably stop for a coffee and I'll have to buy your lunch just to keep you happy. All right, what are we having for lunch? Do you know yet? Or is no. gonna surprise me? No. All right. Let's go and have a look at the first unit. <coughs> well, we made it here safely with Miss Beng's driving. She's not that bad. I don't know what everybody was telling me about her driving. Right, Miss Beng, which building are we going into? Because PP has how many buildings? A, B, C, D, F. Five buildings. Today we're going to F building. Why am I to E? Huh? A, B, C, D, F. You missed out E. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. There's an E building yeah. as well. Just just remember, it, when you're renting a PP or looking at PP condo, yeah, there's E straight behind us, Ben. Uh, um, remember, buildings A and B don't have a lift, okay? You, if you don't like walking up four flights of stairs, don't go into a building A or B. Also, in the buildings here, building F, okay, as I said, a no frills building. Miss Beng's got the key card, okay? Here we can see the people's water on delivery. Okay, and Miss Bang's going through. Okay, what floor are we going up to, Miss Bang? Uh, six. Six. And the thing is, are we going to walk all the way up? You can, but everyone just did. Miss Bang's going to go in the lift. All right, let's go in the lift. Here's the top floor. Top floor penthouse. <laughs> so, Miss Bang, who normally rents a place like this? Mm, both Thai people and foreigners who maybe are the teacher. That close, the school that close here, for example, Sarasa. Oh, Sarasa School. Any mm -hmm. other schools around this area for teachers? Yeah, Sarasa. Other schools? Any others? Um, it's not far from Barry yeah, School. Course, yeah. Barry School's just around the Super Highway, so it's a prime location for teachers, and basically, it's a good condo for anyone that's kind of living on a budget. Okay. Obviously, most people at this price, under $150, are worried about security. 
I will ask Miss Beng about how safe this is in a moment, but Miss Beng is currently opening up the condo. Wow. Well, bed's not made. Okay. The owner's going to come in and put the bed sheets on. I've been warned another condo today. Uh, the client's just checked out. Okay. Nice. Miss Beng, can you can you just have a show us around the room a little bit, yeah, please? Yeah. Well, what have we got? This room is like the studio room. When you first enter to the room, this is the bed and this is wardrobe. <laughs> some working table and chair. So yeah. if you rent this, it does everything you see come with the condo? Yeah, everything you see now would be here in the room, is included in the room. Okay, and what's the security deposit for this one? For sure, two month security deposit on oh. like every other condos and house. Okay, so all condos are two month security deposit. Okay, and what we got here? Dining table and chair, big sofa, TV. And kitchen counter. A kitchen counter. We'll have a look at the kitchen in a moment. But every condo, everybody asks me, they all say they want air cons. Yeah. Okay. Miss yeah, Bank, top model there. Thank you for modeling the air con. Mm -hmm. um, but just to remember, every condo comes with air con. Do we have any yeah. condos without air con? No. Okay. I've never seen one, yeah. No, I think you're right. Every condo here in Chiang Mai, um, unless you're renting really, really, really cheap and on a fan room, comes with aircon. Come on and show us around the kitchen. What comes with the kitchen? There is the counter and the storage that you can keep in and you can also cook with the electric stove. Cooking in here is no problem. You want to, yeah. Right. Hi. Because you also have the balcony here with the slide door so you when you cook you can open. Oh nice. And a second sink. Or oh, that's the main sink yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, Okay, view is obviously out onto some pigeons over there. Not the fanciest of buildings, as we said, but very nice. Oh, there's some chickens down there, if we can see. Maybe they wake you up in the morning, but that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. And, sorry, before we do the bathroom. Yeah, you see this? The living area? The living area. Okay. Um, yeah, sofa, TV. What about internet? Internet not include, so you will need to find a provider and choose the promotion or the contract that you like and you can make an appointment with them and let them come and install it in your room. Can I get high speed internet here? Yeah, I think no problem. 3BB AAS sign it, like normal internet provider. Yeah. Excellent. Is that okay, one of the questions that everybody asks, is this building safe? Yes, that is, I mean, I have many clients stay in this building and no problem, they, yeah, no problem. Excellent. Yes. Show us one last part, the bathroom. Yeah, let's see. This is the restroom. It comes with the mirror, the sink, the toilet and shower area with water heater. Oh, even hot water. Okay, yeah. Very nice. Virtually all the condos again come with hot water and everything yeah. like that. So basically, you get a full living area. You're not roughing it. It's safe. And the price in Thai baht again? It's 5,000 baht. Only 5,000 baht a month, which is around about $150. So the question is, why wouldn't you rent here? Obviously, it's not for everybody. 30 square meters of living space um, is not, you know, comfortable for everybody. But I know a lot of people that come here and when they're, should we say, just starting out their time in Chiang Mai, this has been a prime um, starting point for many of the people. Get settled in, look for a job, settle into Chiang Mai, um, saving costs. Um, so that they choose PP as one of their first locations like i said we're happy at this price to offer this kind of building uh, uh, units in pp pr purely because they're pretty good they offer great value if we go into some of the other older buildings and the other units for under five thousand they're not very clean they're not neat and tidy the buildings i'm not saying unsafe just not well looked after and everything like that so i can't see why you wouldn't choose a unit like pp if you're on a tight budget.
Right, in a moment, we're going to go look at the next unit. Where are we going after here, Miss Bang? We go to, um, which one? One plus audition. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to one, uh, one plus Ched Yod next, okay? That's See where you we're... there. See you there. Thank you, Miss Bang. Thank, thank you for showing us PP Condo. Right, where are we heading now? We're going to one plus Ched Yod one. Okay, I see you got your super cool sunglasses on. Does that make you a cooler driver? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, hopefully a safer driver. No, she's fine. She's a great driver. Okay. All right, why, why are we going here? What's so special about this unit? What do you like about this one? I love that it's very convenient. Okay. For, like, it's very close to the city, like close to Niman area, and also close to on the Central Festival side too. And around there has a lot of restaurant and cafe so it's very easy for me to walk to go to restaurant or cafe around yeah uh, you're very tired do you like eating a lot yes <laughs> yes <laughs> obviously eating is a big part of thai culture for <laughs> anybody but we also like it because the ease of the location and everything like that so it's great that we're going to see this one miss beng will show us around. for a quick coffee with miss beng as i promised her we would take care of us but she managed to steal uh, well, she managed to get pancakes and green tea out of me. That's just out of order. But one of the things I said I was going to do, it was I was going to ask Miss Bang a very quick question why we're having the coffee. Why do you like being a real estate agent? Why do you like... No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> oh, just kidding. Uh, hang on, she's too honest. Maybe we should... Uh, let's get that sorted out. Come on, Miss Bang. Why do you like being a real estate agent? Um, I, I like it because it's the work that I always get chance to meet new people. Yeah, like new people talking with them and help them to get the place in my hometown, you know. Mm -hmm. A good place for them and make them feel feel great, feel happy staying in Chiang Mai City. Yeah, I I'm think, happy helping them, you know. Yeah. I think you talk about and something. And also earning a lot of money. Oh yeah, you like the money side, <laughs> okay. Miss Peng obviously is an agent, so she gets commission from the, her rentals and everything like that she helps. So do support her, come and rent through Miss Peng. But again, I think Miss Peng's uh, touched on a subject that's very important to all of us. Anyone in the real estate game should or does like meeting a lot of new people. A lot of people from other places love showing people around and finding the right places. But there's one more quick question before I let Miss Beng eat her pancakes and waffles. Um, come on in. Watch. Oh, there goes an aeroplane. Obviously, we're in Ched Yacht. Prime location. Close to the airport, as they say. Miss Peng. What's, what's your favourite location that we've seen or going to see today? I think I've asked that in one of the units, but mm. which is your favourite area, not favourite unit? Yeah, I think Jet Yacht is a good area. I mean, Jet Yacht is a good area because, as I told you before, it's close to convenient places like restaurant and cafe, which I can just walk or motorcycle there easily. Okay. Yeah. And so the nice condo we're yeah. going to go and see before we, we go is Ched Yacht, is in the Ched Yacht area. Yeah. Okay. And we are literally, what, six minutes from Niemenhamen, which is a prime area if you're on a motorbike? Yes. Okay. Um, remember, Niemenhamen is, is the location at the moment for digital nomads and many other nationalities settling into Chiang Mai. And the reason is, it's easy. It's an easy place to start. All the coffee shops are around you, restaurants and everything is in walking distance. And you can get a grab taxi to anywhere, any of the shopping malls or anywhere else you want to go in Chiang Mai, really, really simply. All right. So thank you for that insight on you, Miss Beng, your secrets. Is there anything else you love about being a real estate agent? No, that's it. That's it. All right. It's, it's not always that easy. Sometimes she does have stressful days and I have seen them. Obviously not everything is simple as, but let's let Miss Beng enjoy her waffles. Okay, looking good. She's gonna enjoy the cream. We've had our coffee and you've eaten all my waffles and you ate all of it. You didn't share any at all. <laughs> not true. <laughs> all right, maybe I had a little bit more than hmm. you. Anyway, where are we? Now we are in front of One Plus Jet Yacht building. Right, and what are we going to see here? We're going to see the room, the facility and the area around. Okay, let's have a quick look around the little street. Yes. Okay, this is the building. Standard One Plus style building. They built a whole load. We're on a lovely quiet street. We've got 
<laughs> coffee shop just up there, not yet open. Another coffee shop down there. So that's a couple. Traffic. And what's that way, Miss Beng? Over there. You would have a lot of coffee shop and restaurant. Is that where we just ate? Yeah. Okay, so Miss Beng likes that. Got to be careful. A nice bit of graffiti here on the wall. Very nicely done. Miss Beng wanted to show me that because she loves dogs. Okay. And now, let's head into the building. Let's go and see what we've got in one plus shed yard. Okay, underground car parking as usual. Okay. Oh, someone's got a lovely camper van there. All the stuff for weekends and camping. So, plenty of parking, very well organized. This building actually only has a small reception. Um, it's, it's, there is, Miss Bang, is there a pool here or not? Yeah, yes. Yes, there's oh, a pool. Fitness over there, I'll show you later. You're gonna show us at the end? Excellent, before we go to the last unit. So let's have a look. Key card security. Again, a little bit more secure here by the looks of it than we were at PP Condo. There is the finger scan here. So There's a finger scan. Is your yeah. finger no. scannable? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, someone's coming out. That was good timing. Okay. Hey. Thank you very much. Hey, very this good time. Lobby area. Uh, the lobby area, a little bit dark. But Miss Beng is sorting out her keys. <laughs> Can she find it in the handbag? Hey. Okay. Oh, we're all right. Okay. Receptions in there. Busy working. Again, your post boxes, and we're going up to the lift into the second floor. Top floor. Top floor. Penthouse again, just like Pee Pee. Or was it? <laughs> and this one is the corner room. Very nice unit. Corner room. Okay. Mountain view too. Mountain view. Oh, this is going to be spectacular. Wow, this does feel more spacious, obviously, than PP Condo. Obviously, let's remember it's a little bit more, but very different. Slightly different. Okay, Miss Bang. Yes? Show me around. Tell me what we got here. So this is one bedroom at one plus jet yard one. So when you enter the room, this is the living area and the kitchen. And here is the big sofa. You can see it, obviously. And when you sit, you can see the view outside of your room, which is very nice. Let me have a look. Trees, the oh. mountain over there. Hang on, this is the city view. Yeah, the mountain over there. Ah, oh, and there's Doisa Tep. There's a plane taking off in the background, but not too close, not directly overhead. Wow, and that gives us a good feeling of the location. If you have a look right in the distance somewhere over there, there is the Ascent View on Superlight and Central Festival. That's where we're going to be going for our last condo. Okay. You got air conditioner here. TV. Kitchen area. Here. Okay. And washing machine. You have electric stove. Oh wow. Microwave. The rice cooker. Oh wow. The fridge. Okay, and what's this one for? <laughs> Is for making your ingredients something. Yeah. It's not suntan. No. It's not it's a papaya. Too small. It's too small for suntan, is it? <laughs> okay. Wow. And also a desk over here, decent for TV, um, aircon unit, as Miss Bang has shown us in the yeah. other unit. It would be two aircon for this unit because in the living area and in the bedroom. Okay. Yes, because PP condo was only one aircon unit. Okay. Yeah. Show us what else we got. Yeah. You want to see bathroom? This is the bathroom. You have, you have this mirror, the sink, toilet, and shower area separate with water heater. And again, hot water heater in here again. Mm -hmm. All right. So everything we need, nice hot showers. Sometimes the problem in Thailand is not the hot showers, it's the cold showers. We're trying to get cold showers during the hot season and the water's just too warm. Too warm. Okay. And I really like this spot because it's the big balcony. Nice space. Again, the bed sheets will be back, put back on this afternoon. Yeah. Miss Beng did warn me. She said, <laughs> sorry, all these units. We were waiting for the bed sheets, which is a coincidence. Wardrobe, and this is the balcony that you can see the wheel more clearer. Okay, again, Miss Beng, what was the, the price on this unit? 10K for one year lease. So again, just under the 300, uh, 300 US dollar a month unit. 
Okay. Um, and does that? What does that include again? So you. No, it's, it's just the rent and you would still need to pay electricity bill, water bill and Wi-Fi bill if you find the one to, to install for yourself. Okay, and this one, the, electri the electricity bill could potentially be a bit higher because you have two air cons. Yeah, but it just depends how you... If you stay in a room all day, it would be higher, but if you just come in the evening time and turn on it only night time, so... It would be the same price, like around 800 baht to 1,500 around that. Excellent. And if I asked you from here, what can you see? What's your favorite place to go to from around here? Oh, oh. I like the mountain and I like to do the hiking. So it's really close to the mountain, so I can go there very easy. And Bang, where's the last place we're going to head to? We're going to go to the condo. And what's so special about that? Why are we going to see that? I also love the big swimming pool and the gym and the working space there. Ah, hang on. But we <laughs> <laughs> this <time. laughs> No, we not go yet. We, I need to show you the swimming pool and the gym of this unit first. All right, let's go there before we forget. Otherwise, that would be embarrassing. And didn't forget the swimming pool in the end, so we had to rush down here before we got back and we found out we forgot. So, Miss Bang, are you going to show us around? Yes. Yeah. Come on in, let's in go. In front of us, this is the chair, swimming pool, and fitness room. Fitness? Yeah, this is the fitness room. Wow, PP didn't have a fitness room. <laughs> Come on, Miss Bang, can you lift the heaviest one? No. Oh, bang. She's not going to. Come on in, show us 10, 20, <laughs> 30, 40. <laughs> Okay, two running machines, slightly dated but ideal just for someone who wants a nice easy workout. But here we go. Swimming pool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Bang, showing us the sauna. It's not on. Don't know how you get it switched on, but there must be some sauna experts out there. Let's get the sauna going. And there's the swimming pool. Okay, so is this, what kind of swimming pool is this? Is the top swimming pool in Chiang Mai? No, no, it's not top. What is it? Is this a small one? Um, it's medium one. Okay, what's this like comparison to the one we're gonna go and see in a minute? Um, the another one would be bigger than this, like maybe 10 times, I think. Yeah, <laughs> very big at the condo. Okay, just after here, we thought we'd get these facilities in very quickly. But after here, we're now going to head around and see the, the final one, which really does focus on the facilities. Come on, Miss Bang, you've eaten. It's now time to go and show us the your favourite one, your yes. favourite condo. Let's go. Let's go. Well, this is our final place, and we're just pulling up. We've just gone through the security, which obviously the first building lacked. Uh, Miss Beng had to give them the, the security guard, a very polite guy, her uh, yes. ID card. Uh, he now knows how old you are, Miss Beng. <laughs> uh, are you going to tell us how old you are? No. <laughs> no, okay, that's another secret, Miss Beng. Maybe gonna... 15. Uh, 15? <laughs> that's legal for me to hire you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we're just going to find a nice car parking space in here. Um, this, as I said, this is the last one we're going to see. And there, Miss Beng's just found the brakes on the car. <laughs> okay. Um, which building are we going in, Miss Beng? B. B. Okay. Yeah, four building. A, B, C, D. At least this time she knows her alphabet, not like the first building. Mm -hmm. Is there anything special you're going to show us in this building? Sure. I'm going to show you the nice swimming pool and the fitness here. Are we going to see the room first or the pool first? The pool first. Let's do it. Let's, okay, go. let's go. Straight, Miss Beng picked her parking well. Straight in to building B. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the parking first come first up around the building. Okay, Miss Beng, what's this over here, please? Show us. Turn around. Show me what's over there. Oh, Central Festival. What Central Festival? The shopping mall. Your favorite one, or have you got another one? No, I don't like it. You don't like it. How far is it to Central Festival from here? How um, many... It's like two, 200 meters walking because you would have the shortcut, which we will show you later. Okay, and what else have we got in as we go in through the entranceway? Yeah, this is the mailbox 
box area. Where you get your post. Yeah, the mail, the letters, and this is the living area of this building. What about the common, yeah, the common area? Okay, can anyone use this common area? Yeah, and there is the free Wi-Fi here under the building too of each building. So, and this is a kind of little co-working space with your Wi-Fi passwords out there, mm -hmm. and everything like that. Um, so anyone can sit down here and enjoy getting out of their room. Okay. And if, when you have the guests or friends come, they can wait you here under the building. Okay. And what are you going to show us now? This is the beautiful pool, very big one. Wow. And over there is the fitness. And over there is the co-working space. They have a very big, big building over there for working space. This is what is special about this building. Okay, the facilities, the common area that we have around here is very, very special. This and gives that, you. There is the walking part that you can walk in, do exercise too. Uh, yeah. And you like to do exercise? Yes. All right, come on. Where do you normally go exercise? Tell the truth. Don't tell me sleeping. Gym, Where? The gym. gym. And in my uh, co community, yeah, in my community house, yeah. yeah okay, <laughs> excellent. Okay, let's have another look at this pool area. It's very, very, very nice. I would say it's around about 50 meters long. I'm not sure exactly. We have got an article on our website for the condo NIM, but this is part of the, the series from San Siri. There's the gym over there, okay, and there's the common, uh, another common area workspace, um, and a lovely area for sitting around and stuff like that. There are now five, four, D Condo Sign, D Condo Nim, D Condo Rin, D Condo Bing, Bing, and I think they're about to start building another one just around here. The signs have gone up, okay. We'll ask on the way out. Miss Beng will check that, okay. Also, what's in the area around here? Just we just drove past it. We might get to show it. But what was? Did we just come past? Yeah, we have like that is like on the way. That is like the Seven Eleven coffee shop and some shops, convenience shops around. Right. So you can just get there. And in Central Festival, there's food courts and everything like that. So it's very very easy. Okay, this is what's special. Who wouldn't want to relax by this pool? Who wouldn't want to get out of their room and chill out? So for those who just want to have a little bit more space outside, this condo is very, very special, offering great value. We'll re recap on the prices in a bit, but obviously this is very, very good. Common area. Um, the gym is in use, so I'm not sure if we can actually get in there. Miss Beng will check in a moment. If no one's in there, we will go in. If someone's in there, we'll have to respect their privacy. But another common area here. Just to have a sit around, chill out. And one of those new drinks machines, coffee, coffee and everything like that. Again, Wi-Fi access all around the common area. Very, very good. Building. I think building A, building B, C, D around. So a few hundred. Can we? We can't get into the common area, but never mind. Okay, Miss Beng, I think it's now time for you to go and show us the room. Is that okay? Yes. Right, we're on the second floor. How do we access this unit? I have password. Well, let's hope you get it right. Are you going to tell us the password? No. Good. That's all right. She's maintaining the room security and she got it right first time. First time. This is our last unit. As we were warned, the bed's not been made, but the unit's been cleaned and put back together. Let's let Miss Beng pop out, okay? Tidy up, clear up everything. And then we will wait for Miss Beng to invite us in and show us around. Thank you. Okay. Very nicely decorated. Lots of knickknacks, lots of things to make it look good. Okay. Come on in, Miss Beng. What have we got here? Yes. When you first enter to the room, this is dining table and chair. This is like 
big living area that is so far here and it's separate from the bedroom by the slide door Ah, the sliding door. Yep. Some people still claim this is one bedroom, but in theory, it's a it's a cut off. It's a studio with sliding doors. Also separate from the kitchen by this sliding door too. So it's nice. Okay. So why why do you think they do that? Is that to keep the smells out? Or? Yeah. When you do the cooking there, so the smell not come to your living area or your bedroom. All right. Okay. How's your cooking, Miss Bang? <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she doesn't need the kitchen. What size is that TV? That's a decent I size think TV. Exactly, you think so? uh, about about 50 45. In. 45 50. Yeah, okay, I agree. About 45, 50 Big inch TV. TV. Okay. So far, ready. Nice pillow decoration. Okay. And this is the bedroom area. Okay, as we see here, the bed's not been made, but normally this room would come with bed sheets? Yes. Okay, excellent. Oh, lovely mirror on the wall there. Yeah, big mirror. Giving a good feeling of space. Wardrobe, air conditioner, only, only one, right? Okay, oh. one air conditioner. Okay. Window that you can see the view outside, which is, this one is parking, parking view. New name for a view, this is parking view. That's what we call the new, no views, parking. But again, Still plenty of distance between the next door neighbours, so no problems. And there again is Central Festival. So again, you know how close your walking is. Okay, wardrobe space, decent air con. Okay, and should we have a look at the kitchen as well? Yes, this is the kitchen. Okay, what we... Just ready for you to move in. What do we got? Yeah, electric stove, the pot and pan, the kettle, the bread maker. Hang on, you said you can't cook, but can you make toast in a yes. taster? Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Have you ever mucked that one up? <laughs> no. Okay, so we're all right. Microwave. Cook. Microwave. Yeah. The youth of today, during COVID, the youth of today was told off because they couldn't cook. Mm -hmm. All they could cook was eggs, so there was an mm -hmm. egg shortage in COVID. Hang on, let me have a look in there. All the knives, forks, pots and pans that you need to get started and a little hob. That's the kitchen. Okay, and... The fridge, big fridge, did you see it? I'm, I'm more interested in the washing machine. Yes, and washing machine in the, at the balcony. Okay. So you can just do your laundry here and hang your clothes here. when you. Do all there. units have a washing machine? No. Okay. Depends. Yeah. So this is a bonus for this yes. unit. Do people like having washing machines in their unit? Uh, it really depends because this building uh, under, like under this with the first floor, that is the laundry area that you can put the coin and you do your laundry. Right. Okay. So you don't need one in here. You can easily go downstairs and deal with the laundry downstairs. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Decent fridge freezer, which is obviously better than the ones we've seen in the other units. And the bathroom, come on Emma Spen, can we all squeeze into the, the bathroom? Yeah, sure. So in the bathroom you have the mirror, the sink, the toilet area and shower area separate with water heater. Excellent. So all very spotlessly clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, very neat, very modern. And is that a real plant? Is that going to die? <laughs> no, it's fake. Okay, that's alright. We don't need to water that no. while we're in here. Okay. Um, Miss Ben, have a seat. We're going to interview you in the chair, all looking comfortable. Okay, <laughs> remind me again, how much was this unit? 10k a month for one year contract. So do you remember how much that is in dollars? Under 300. Well done, <laughs> under 300 is the best we can remember. Okay, what about internet? Would you... Not include. Okay. So you would need to pay for your electricity bill, water bill and Wi-Fi bill if you find a provider to install it for you. If you find one, or is there good ones here? Yeah, there is a good one here, I think, AIS and 3BB. Okay, as Ben mentioned, there's Wi-Fi in the common area, but in the room, yeah. your common area Wi-Fi is probably not strong enough, so we recommend if you need high-speed internet, you get your own, okay? Is there anything else we need to know or would like to know about mm. this unit? So, I. I think many people would have the question how how much of electricity and water bill so I can tell you that most of the condo I mean like 
90, 99%. The electricity, electricity bill would be the government rate. And for the water bill, the water will manage by the building itself. So the price range would be around 25 to 35 baht per unit for the water. Okay, and roughly if I'm only in here in the yeah. evening, not in here all the time, not running my aircon because I like to go out, roughly yeah. how much do you think my electricity bill so will be? Your electricity bill for one person staying in only like night time, turn on the aircon, maybe around one, 800 baht until 1,500 around that. Yeah, okay. or maybe less. Yeah. Excellent. There's a big difference, obviously, between this unit and the other two units. This is very well designed and very well furnished. Mm -hmm. If I had to ask you, which is your favorite unit, Miss Beng? I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> is it it's nice decoration. I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the nice decoration. And the pool, for sure. The pool and the fitness, because I love it, yeah. And the toaster, so you can make <laughs> bread in the morning? Is yeah, that... maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Beng's made her choice, but she wants to know what is your choice. So make sure you leave your choice in the comments below, and we look forward to hearing them, but also make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to do that. Okay, well done, Miss Beng. Thank you for showing you all the units. Thank you, and see you next video. Miss Beng, the last part of the video, we all want to know which was your favorite one. For sure, my favorite one is this one, the condonym. I love it. Why do you love this one? Come on, what is it that wins <laughs> about this? I love the room decoration and also because of the swimming pool and the fitness room oh. and working space. I love it. Like, it's all here in this building, so I love it. Right, we've been really lucky to spend time with Miss Beng today. I know she's really busy, but she actually wants you guys to help make her busier. When you guys come to Chiang Mai and looking for somewhere to rent, make sure you contact... Me! Well, I'm from Perfect Homes. Actually, contact Perfect Homes. And you can ask for Miss Beng, and if she's not too busy, she'll be more than happy to help. But a big thank you to Miss Beng for all your help today. My pleasure, and please comment or let me know which one is your favorite. I really would like to know. Thank you very much, everybody. See you again soon.